In this video today, I'm going to show you how to make a stereotypical audiovisual charity advert using generic conventions um, that have since been uh, addressed. So this is assuming that you've accessed our how to use Adobe Premiere Pro um, videos on YouTube. What you're going to do is double click import media to start. And I've sent you this pack charity advert assets. So what I would like you to do is select all of those and hit open. The first thing I would like you to do is um, go through the music. I've given you two examples. That's suitably melancholic. Okay, so you can use mine or you could find your own suitable ones. Um, what I would like you to do is click and hold on the file and drag it into the timeline. Then I would like you to choose an image that you would like to go for. Um, if you double click, they'll open in the preview window on the left. So you could choose this one or this one. Let's go with the charity image 001. I'm going to click and drag it onto the timeline above the image. Now I'm going to zoom out. Uh, let's go to fit. Now this image is very small in the frame. So I would like you to select the layer. And then I would like you go to go to effect controls. And using scale, I would like you to resize it until the image is um, in your start position. So we might start there. Now I've got my preview window on a quarter. Um, so if it looks low resolution, um, you can increase it to half or full. But bearing in mind, when it's on full, you have to make sure that the computer, it puts an extra load on the, on the computer's memory. So I like to keep it between quarter and half. Um, so we've got this image um, and as you can see it just starts as the music starts. What we would like to do is use some keyframe editing. So if this is our start point I would like you to click start um, toggle animation scale and position and then I would like you to move the playhead slightly forward and then I, I want you to zoom in slightly but we want to bring um, her head down as well. So I'd like to bring it down here. Maybe I would like to zoom in a bit more as well. And I'm going to take these uh, markers and move them to the end of the sequence. So you can see at the beginning of this clip, it begins there. And at the end, it stops at those values that you've inputted. Let's play it real time. Okay, so if you're happy with the speed, we're going to add some um, um, fade-ins now. Um, wasn't so happy with the playback, so let's turn it to half. Okay, so I would like you to go make sure you're in effects mode. Okay, you're toggling between editing, which looks like this, and effects, which looks like that. Uh, I would like you to go to um, video transitions. That's a drop down menu that you do here. Hit dissolve and go to dip to black and now apply it to the beginning and the end of the clip. So let's play that back again. Okay, we want to zoom in slightly and it adds a default. Um, Default fade, dip to black. You can actually modify that by clicking on it and making the the fade time shorter. Let's play that back again. So we want to try to get it to hit when the first note plays. Okay, so you, um, I will let you uh, have a go at adjusting that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to add some uh, titles round about here. So, so far you've imported some melancholic music. You've got this still image of a child looking at the camera from a relatively um, high angle. So it's not quite eye level, slightly high. Uh, and we've added a blend. So let's add some um, text as well, some generic text appeal. What I would like you to do is go to file, new, and legacy title, hit okay. Okay, they're going to retire this feature soon, but I, I, I like using it, so I'm going to keep using it until they do actually retire it. I would like you to click anywhere on the frame and then type uh, something like um, urgent appeal. Again, you can change this to whatever you want, um, making sure it's, it's uh, relevant and it's um, using the right mode of address and language. 
Okay, so I've completely spelled that wrong. Um, that's because it was very, very small. Uh, not a suitable font. So what I would like you to do is um, change the font here. Let's just pick Arial for the purpose of this video. But I do want you to spend time um, carefully choosing a font. Now that does take time to get it properly to choose an appropriate font. Now you can click center here, but let's leave enough room for the, the water aid logo or any other logo that you wish to use. Um, you can move this into position there. Urgent appeal. Uh, and let's add a bit more text. So let's say, please give. Please give. Uh, give three pounds per month. Okay. You could uh, make urgent appeal big. I can select please give and make that smaller if I wish. Okay. Uh, I could make everything center aligned. Okay. You've got all of these options that I want you to play with. Um, and I might leave it up here to allow enough room for uh, the logo uh, to be put into place. Let's close that. Now, what it's done is it's auto generated uh, title down here. You click that into place. And then what you see is after the blend, urgent appeal, please give three pounds. So I would like you to then add the water aid logo on top. Okay, now it's not in the right position. So you double, you click on water aid and just like you did with the um, photograph before, you can change the position. Should you want, you can make it larger if you want. And you can, um, yeah, we can put it around about there. That's kind of center. Um, all right, so now what you can also do is color pick the water aid blue. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, title one. I'm going to select, ah, okay. So now the logo is 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 not there. So if I swap these around, if I bring the logo above and the text underneath, it should read the logo. So I'm going to double click uh, title one. Okay, there, no, it's, it's, it's done now. So I might select urgent appeal, for example. Now it's closed off this window, so I'm going to open up this window a bit. And now using the color um, pipette, I'm going to click and hold my finger until I hover over the blue. And it's done nothing, has it? Okay, so let's undo that. So it's actually made another instance. This is very realistic. You know, this is a, a one take kind of video just to show you the common issues that you might run into. So I'm selecting urgent appeal. Going, uh, selecting the pipette. Now I'm color drop, color picking the water aid blue. Now, if you're not picking um, water aid, if you're picking charity, it might be or like a Bernardo's green, for example. Now, for some reason, it's it's doing the right. Let's click definitive click, and it's not liking that. So let's take the blue from there. In the blue from there. Yep. Okay, as you can see, it's not quite getting the blue, but it should work. It should work on yours. For some reason, it's not. It's not quite working. Um, possibly we can take it from this blue. You can take it from anywhere on the screen, um, and it keeps. Um, it keeps going back to this uh, muddied green. Not not a problem. Um, I could uh, show you how to work around now. So urgent appeal. So what we've done is we've got our photo. It's moving. We have the melancholic music. We have uh, the water aid logo in position. We have the text. Make sure you select the right font. And I've also color picked the font. So those are the basics that I would like you to do. If you find this particularly easy, there are other methods you can use within the, the text function. Uh, and you could also put in um, several photos if you wish and different moves. You could also at one point change the music um, to make it more uplifting and more upbeat to show that the power of your donations and, and how they um, improve um, other people's lives. Um, and if you finish, this task, I would then like you to record your own voiceover. Okay, so I want you to create your own voiceover, record it on your phones, email it to yourself, 
and then drop it in an other audio track um, and that that will tie together a lot of the um the basic generic conventions found in the charity adverts audiovisual charity adverts um that are considered quite stereotypical any questions uh, please send me an email